All right, so I guess we can get started because it's uh, 15 minutes on the dot. So welcome everybody to the first demonstration at the Hyperledger Global Forum here in Dublin and welcome everybody who's online, wherever you are in the world. So my name's Akif. Um, my company is Petri Dish Development. I work as a consultant um, and I'm going to be demonstrating um, the Aries Akapai controllers uh, using different web stacks. So before we talk about what controllers are, let's quickly talk about Akapai um, or Aries Cloud Agent Python, since Akapai is the basis for what controllers are built on. So Akapai is an Aries implementation written in Python. Its primary use case is to enable cloud-based verifiable credential solutions like enterprise web wallets and hence the name Cloud Agent. Um, Akapai implements Aries protocols for issuing, holding, and proving verifiable credentials, and it enables the trust over IP model that you see here, and you'll see frequently. Uh, so every component uh, of this trust triangle or diamond is enabled by Akapai, so you can stand up Akapai for issuing, for verifying, for publishing schemas and credential definitions on, onto ledgers, um, so it has a wide support for a lot of use cases. So Akapai is meant to be consumed as a service. Um, controllers are applications that function as the business logic. Um, the controller simply executes Aries protocols by calling a REST API exposed by Akapai. And the controller can also listen to async events um, through webhooks. So on the right here, this is kind of like the REST response, uh, request response, um, and then this would be webhooks. So this is a really simple setup. Um, with a server-side framework such as Node or .NET, and the application UI would be built in the controller, and it would simply be making requests to the Akapai agent that runs uh, standalone. So here's another setup with the single-page application framework, something like Re uh, Angular Reactor View. So this would typically require an additional microservice to handle webhook callbacks because Akapai can't directly call back to the browser. So you could have a setup like this. Um, it also supports multi-tenancy, meaning that one Akapai instance can securely manage multiple agents. So we often refer to this as an agency, where each controller would create a sub-wallet um, that's isolated from all the other tenants. And then it would use a token, a JWT, to make secure requests to each of the tenants within um, the agency. So. I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of a few controllers that I built uh, that use Akapai in the background. So some of you may be familiar with the Alice Faber Acme interaction. So in this case, Alice is a, a graduate from Faber College, and she wants to apply for a job at Acme Inc. Uh, so Faber is going to issue Alice a degree credential. Um, and then Acme is going to ask Alice to present a proof of her graduation um, at accredited college for employment. And then using that information, if ACME uh, approves, then they can also issue an, an employee credential to Alice. So this is the kind of setup that we have. There are technically three different Akapai uh, instances, but they're, they're one um, Aries framework. Um, so Alice is going to be uh, written in Angular. Faber is written in .NET, and Acme is uh, written with Node.js. So let's, so I'm just going to stand up the, uh, the demo here. So as you can see, so each one of these, these services is just making a simple request, or REST API request, to the agents running in the background. So while this is standing up, so in the background, what's happening is um, Faber and Acme are going to create a public DID. They're going to register it onto this local ledger that I have running. And then Faber is also going to um, publish a schema and a credential definition for the degree credential so that it can then issue that to Alice. So here I have Alice stood up. 
I have Acme stood up, and I think Faber is ready to go. So once again, um, Akapai exposes a REST API, so you can access this directly um, through each of the agents. But let's go ahead and create a connection request for Alice to connect to. So Faber is going to create a new invitation. So all we're doing is we're making a call to Akapai using the REST API. And let's suppose that it exposes this invitation through some kind of QR code or something that Alice would connect to or even a link. So Alice is going to accept that connection. And once it does, it has an active connection to Faber. Uh, Faber then has already um, published a schema for the degree, and it's created a credential definition. So now I can go ahead and um, issue a credential. So, so Alice it's already connected to. We select our schema and credential definition, and this is the attributes of the credential that it will issue to Alice. So once we do that, and uh, we can see that Alice has been issued a credential here. So now Alice wants to apply for a job. So now Acme is going to create an invitation for Alice to connect to so that she can prove her credentials. So Alice is going to accept the invitation to Acme. OK, so it's done that. And so now Acme is going to create a proof request. So it's connected to Alice. Now it needs to have the credential definition ID. And suppose that this is publicly available somewhere. But we're just going to copy it from Faber. And so here, there's a number of different attributes it's requesting. So uh, Acme wants to know the name, the date that the degree was issued, what type of degree. And then it can also request that you know Alice has to be over a certain age, but we're going to skip that one. Oops. Sorry, it's a little bit challenging to do this with uh, with one hand. Oops. So uh, proof has been requested. Alice has received that proof request. And then hopefully, if everything works, in the background, Akapai verified the proof, and uh, Acme sees that it's been verified here. So these controllers took less than a day to write each. Um, it's pretty fast to, to, to write something like this. And this just shows how easy like Akapai is to, to stand up some kind of UI in front of it. So um, that's, uh, that's the demo there. Um, if you'd like to learn more, the QR code will take you to the uh, Akapai controllers repo. Um, we also have a Discord chat if anybody's really interested in learning about um, Aries Cloud and Python. And we have a really nice, diverse community and uh, active community in, in this. So yeah. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. Uh, in terms of a UI, not really, but the rest, yeah. Right. So that was business partner agent, yeah. It's it's just a degree schema that was published when we stand up the agent. 
yeah. So the schema and the cred def are published on a local ledger, so I can I have it running and I can probably show you. Uh, so if I go to the domain here, and so you can see like that's the cred def that was created, and then uh, that's the schema that was created, and that was that was published right now when I when I stood up the agent. Uh, no, I believe you need to have the ledger to at least publish uh, schemas and cred devs. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, and there's another project called Traction that uh, is is for creating a multi-tenant type of solution, um, and I believe they have some UI as part of that. But I think they're also using Business Partner Agent as part of their UI. So they're, they're not. They're right. So there's there's a number of different projects that uh, people have built solutions around this. So, anyways, um, the the purpose of this was just to really showcase how easy it is if you want to build your own your own uh, application. Um, in the next demo, actually, right after this, we're going to be showcasing um, the mobile wallet that we've been working on, Bifold, and that's uh, that should be an interesting one to look at too. Yeah, that's right. I, I wrote this. <laughs> it, it was a fun project. Yeah, I wrote this before I started with their team. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I, I just have a number of services here. So. So, for example, like in the in the in the Angular uh, application, I just have an agent service, and all it's doing is it's making HTTP requests. Now, if I wanted to, I could also receive webhooks through some other microservice that uh, I would specify as an endpoint to Akapai, and then I could use like WebSockets to push information back to like to my application here. The cool thing about using something like .NET or uh, Node.js is that's kind of you can do that r right out of the box. So it's a simpler sort of architecture to set up. But yeah, that's basically it. We're, I'm just having, I have these services that call Akapai through, through, through REST, the REST API. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'll look forward to the, the next presentation then. <laughs>